Can a piece of green rubber make you stronger, tougher, faster? When Justin Tuck plays in the Super Bowl, he'll wear this bracelet because just knowing it's around his wrist makes him a better football player. Because the boy who used to wear it can't anymore. He would have ten guys on top of him on a tackle, and he would get up and just keep running. It's like, oh my god, where does he get that strength from? Evan Salavano was a menace on the football field. So tough, his teammates nicknamed him the Brick. He was his junior high school team captain, and he dreamed of a career in the NFL. He was fast, and he loved it. It was just it, this is what he wanted to do. But nearly six years ago, when Evan was 13, he started getting excruciating headaches. 13-year-olds don't get headaches like that, so we brought him to.、Um, The hospital. They had some blood drawn, and we know within a half hour that he had leukemia. That was in 2006, and as Evan's parents struggled to care for him, their three other children, and rising medical bills, tragedy struck. Evan's father, Jimmy, suffered a heart attack and died. The family's situation spiraled. Their house was foreclosed on. That was very, very hard.、Um, yeah, that. <laughs> That hurt. I'm sorry. It was very difficult for the whole family. You know, we were going through a lot. Evan needed something to hold on to. He got Justin Tuck. Our team chaplain told me that Evan was, you know, had cancer, and I was one of his favorite players. What was your intention when you went down there? My intention really was just to go down there and be a friendly face. When I walked in the room, everybody was shy except him. <laughs> He was talking trash to me from day day one about how he can beat me in Madden, and you know, you know, when he gets healthy, he's gonna be a running back, and he's gonna, I'm gonna have trouble tackling him and things like that. For more than two years, as Evan underwent several rounds of grueling treatments, Tuck and Evan exchanged text messages, phone calls, visits. He would always call me and tell me like what he saw in the games and things like that. So、um, it turned out to be、um, a beautiful friendship. But Evan's leukemia was getting worse. To give him a boost, Tuck arranged for Evan to visit the Giants' practice facility. They invited us up to have lunch and after one of their practices, it was just like he was with his buddy. That afternoon, Evan was wearing a bracelet that said "Brick Strong" in big block letters. What they did was the sweetest thing. Evan took his bracelet off and he gave it to Justin Tuck and said, "Here, you can have mine." What does "Brick Strong" mean to you? It has nothing to do with lifting weights.、It、has nothing to do with how many push-ups you can do. It's all about、uh, a mental toughness. Cancer was eating away at his body. His mind it never wavered. I never saw him down. I think a lot of times in situations like that, you you think that、um, you know I'm I'm the one having an effect on him.、Uh, he had you know just as much or if. If not more, effect on me and how I play and how I go about my daily life. Just watching how strong he was going through what he was going through. Tuck surprised Evan with tickets to that weekend's game, along with passes to go on the sideline pregame. I want to show you a picture. This is you and him <laughs> on the sideline、yep. before the game.、Yep. And in this picture, he's whispering something in your ear. He told you if、uh, you didn't play well, he was going to kick your butt from heaven. I started laughing.、Um, But at the end of the day, I was thinking to myself, like,、yeah, I better, I better have a pretty good game. That was the last time Justin Tuck saw Evan Salavano. We got home and he finally looked at me and he said, "I'm dying, aren't I?" <clears throat> and I had to tell him. <clears throat> and、um, you know, all he said was, "I'm just so young." You know, I told him you're going to be with Daddy, and you can play football all you want. Tuck was in his car driving home from practice when he got the call that Evan had passed away. Evan's last request was to be buried in Tuck's jersey. I definitely cried, no question.、Uh, I know a lot of people think I'm the big, tough, bad football player, but it wasn't the normal, you know, football player fan type relationship. It, it became a lot more than that. What he did for Evan, what they both did for each other, I think is just an amazing story because they they changed each other's lives. 
Now, every game Tuck plays, he takes Evan onto the field with him, around his wrist. And every game, Evan's family and friends sit at home, waiting for the camera lens to catch a piece of that green rubber. I don't even look at the game and like, oh, he's got it on, there's Evan, go Evan. I never take it off. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a boost, no question. It's hard to, to complain about anything when you look down and see it. And just a message on it, Brick Strong. Tuck said that several times during the Super Bowl, the bracelet caught his eye. And several times, Tuck came up huge for the Giants, starting the game by forcing a safety and finishing it with two game-altering sacks. What does it mean to you to win this game with Evan's bracelet around your wrist? It means a lot, man. <laughs> it means a lot. You know. I wish he was there to see it, but you know what? I know he's, he's watching. I'm not even... Hey, I know he's smiling. For Evan, Brick Strong, baby. Love you, boy. <laughs>